Within your role, the logbook admin gives you permissions to view all entries created by anyone in the location. On the web portal, you have access to view those entries by navigating into the list section and then to logbook. From here, you're able to view any of those entries. Um, as you can see, we have some grayed out items, meaning I've already read or have seen these. And then if I click on to any of the entries, it'll open up and I can see all of the details. There is a read receipt, so I'm able to see how many users have read and the date and timestamp of when they saw the note. I can add additional comments if I would like to, and then I can also see who posted this with the date and the timestamp as well. As you can see, I have a flag item here on some of these others. So David is requesting to get a new name tag. I can see that it's been flagged, meaning that there's action required, some follow-up. So in here, I can respond back to David. And then I can post and resolve this or just post it. And then once I've given him the name tag, I can resolve it at that point. So I can choose which one I would like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and post for now. And then once I have given him that name tag, once you select the resolve button, showing it was resolved, who resolved it with a date and timestamp as well. And you can see that it's gone from having the little flag icon to the check mark, letting you know that it's been flagged previously, but it's now resolved. So I can see who, how many people have read it, how many comments there are. Now, if this is something that's no longer relevant, I don't need it, I can actually come in and delete this entry and removing it entirely from my view. There's also some filter options. So I can come up here to the filter and if I wanna search for something specific, um, maybe let's work, look for um, oven. And if I search for the word oven, anytime the oven is referenced in an entry, I'm able to see that. And now I can follow up if there's any action needed or see how often that item's been referenced. Maybe it's been troublesome lately and I wanna see how many times it's been referenced if there's been an issue. You also can search by specific date ranges. If you wanna look at unread or read or both, you're flagged or resolved. In the advanced options, this allows you to show any deleted items. So if any of those have previously been deleted, so here we have one from September of 2021, where there's a mention of the oven cleaner that we're all out. So you do have the ability to show deleted items that you still have access to those. You can create a new entry here where you can add a comment, post and flag it, or just post. And then you'll have access to that just like the rest of the entries. The team has access to this from the Jolt mobile app, and this is where they're gonna put in entries. They also have the ability to add pictures or videos as well, which I'll show you in another video.